What up, y'all, and welcome back to Kansas Speedway, this time for the NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series, 22nd race on the 30 race calendar, and uh, it is getting down to crunch time with Jonathan Sorlin in his big points lead over the rest of the field. He starts second today, man, you just cannot get enough of Sorlin starting up at the front of the field, but it's his teammate. James Ellison in his sophomore season on pole for the first time in his Digital Storm Cup Series career. Uh, Going to be curious to see what we see out of Ellison here, if he can hold it at the front of the field. Uh, Kev Shearer, Nico Tringali, row two. Fitzwater, our winner last week in a great photo finish at Armory. Finally got the monkey off the back to get the first one of the year. He is in row three with Dylan Young. Row four is Seth Cole and Cole Deaver. And in row five, you've got Allison Rain and Samet Oskin. I'm joined once again by my man, Vince Freeze. The business end of the season, man. We're getting down to the crunch time. James Ellison on pole is a little bit of a shocker, but Jonathan's own sure isn't. Can't anyone stop this man? Seth Cole's in the dumps this weekend. Sanford needs to start picking up the pace. And we talked about this, man. Strategy at these mile and a half can be all over the map. We'll see if that plays out today. Back to you and more. Going to go through the starting lineup, the rest of the starting lineup. Uh, Vince, tell me who did not make this race and who our past winners are. Got buddy Scott Roush, Cole Hudson, Brent James, Trey Smith, Lane Sanders, Owen Miles, Bradley Ream, Holton, Priya McShane, and Mason Dagger. All the people who missed the race. And our past winners are in 2017, Alex Gray, 2018, Austin Alves. And 2020, Jonathan's are looking to go a little bit of a way back to back because we were not here in 2021. And that was Chevy Ford, Chevy, respectively. And as you said, man, should be a fun one here today. Strategy, always important in the mile and a half. And can, are the man look at the Terminator right there? Can he do something from that back? Let's find out. I just want to point out, it's funny how I know, I know you don't say the name a lot because he's not in the series anymore, but it, it just cracks me up that you pronounce Alves wrong every time he's on the past winners. So anyway, uh, keep that tradition, man. Charles, Charles Sanford starting mid pack, Andrew rich, same thing on the outside lane. There's yesterday's winner, Roger Baranowskis. Um, but a lot of veterans near the front of the field here today, uh, I think should make it somewhat easy for the veteran drivers at the back to at least get to the top 20, not as super speedway esque here in the Cup Series. A lot more fall off. Let's go trackside for the command. Let's get ready to rumble! Man has been given. Let's take a look at the point standings as Sorlin starts on the front row. Sorlin with three pulls on the year could have been his fourth, but that average starting position at 11. Point zero five gonna go down today meaning the numbers going down but Sorlin man three wins 12 top five 16 top tens on the season uh leading all categories except for the win column tied with Seth Cole 126 point lead over Charles Sanford coming into this race 142 over Andrew Rich 146 over Seth Cole those are the main three chasing him down Nate Rogers now fifth in the points 221 points back Rest of your top 10 is Samet Oskin, Dylan Young, Alexander Rowe, Nico Tringali, and Fitzwater is back into the top 10. So Sorlin won the last time we came here two years ago. And I mentioned last week in a race that it looked like Sorlin was the man to beat. The whole Martinsville thing being his third win of the year. Will he get a fourth win of the year? I think he still will. I think there's too much of the schedule left. Will that be today? Does James Ellison have the pace to stay at the front of the field? We're about to find out. Green flag is out from Kansas. In the truck race yesterday, we saw third place go for the race lead off the bat. This time it's Seth Cole going three wide for what is Fourth place, I want to say. Top side going to be king again here today, and Ellison couldn't clear Sorlin. Sorlin through turn one and two, Vince, so Sorlin leads the first lap of the race. And now Ellison swarmed by his teammates. And with all due respect, man, we expected Ellison just to drop back. We know he doesn't have the experience yet to fight the front. So 
So Sorrel into the race lead. I honestly expected him to go to the race lead right away. We'll have to see what Tringali can do. He's been pretty strong on these intermediates this year. And every time we come to one of these, it looks like today is the day for Tringali to break the winless streak he has had dating back to 2019. You know, it's crazy to think how different the year could have gone for Tringali. Could have had a win at, at Auto Club. Uh, could have had a win at Texas. Uh, Homestead, I think, was another one. I mean, he could have had three wins already, but he is still sitting at zero. I think it's just a matter of time, like the whole deal with Fitzwater. A matter of time until Tringali visits Victory Lane again. Uh, the only difference between him and Fitzwater was Fitzwater won last year. Uh, Tringali hasn't won since 2019. Yeah, I think Tringali, man, we, I remember Atlanta, I believe it was. He was vividly really good and just didn't have the, the oomph to get it done. But we'll see. He's looking pretty good. So it's Sorlin and Tringali, 1-2. They are three wide behind them. As Kev Shear currently holds third. Ellison to the top side. Seth Cole on his inside. That is for fourth. Fitzy side by side with Dylan Young for six. Cole Deaver, another driver who hasn't won since 2019. Currently in the top 10 with Jesse Turner, who's having a good outing right now. And you got Austin, Rain, and Keith Rich. Drivers still running their fastest laps of the race back here. You see the cup cars hold a little bit more down for us through the corners, but there you can see they really check up on the exit of turn two. Nate Rogers, the only Hendrick car currently not inside the top 10. Mentioned Andrew Rich started near the back a little bit. He is inside the top 20 already. We know how good he is at these intermediates. He's currently behind RJ Bishop in 18th place. There's yesterday's winner who dominated Audra Baranowskis. Currently 13th on the time chart. Rowe at the top of the list. And Audra in 19th place. Still in a fierce Rookie of the Year battle with Vince Fries and Henry Sanford. Start to get to the middle of the field. There is the 12 of Vince Fries. There's Henry Sanford. Charles Sanford has been struggling much like we saw Donovan Cage struggle yesterday. He is in 35th, going nowhere on this inside line. Man. Not the race you can have. It's it's a it's a literally a mirror from from yesterday. Vince, second in the points, all the way outside of the top 30, and leader in the points, leading the race. But I'll tell you what. Oh. Unlike yesterday, I think there's a good chance Sorlin will get challenged more than Audra was. Seth Cole looking for second place on Nico Tringali. The only thing we talked about yesterday was the strategy. and we, we saw Donovan Cage make a Hail Mary call. Let's see if Sanford will try that today. Seth Cole, though, while S3 might be struggling in the back with two of their cars, Seth Cole definitely trying to go bye-bye-bye here today. Haven't done that one in a while. Yeah. And they're still tied <clears throat> at the top of that all-time wins list. If Seth Cole were to get the win today, that would be the closest he's been to those three. In a good minute, he's currently at 14 career wins, three on this year. Uh, Andrew Andrew had the the win win mark locked up at the end of last year, and Sorlin and Rain have tied him up again. Rain with three wins this year, Sorlin with three. Rich just with the win at Bristol. Seth Cole, of course, winning at Phoenix, Willow Springs, and uh, most recently at Road One. That run Seth's got. He knows how to run the high side, too. Certain places will just get closed off there. I think he's just learning. That's what it's all about, learning, chasing those rabbits ahead of you. So the strategy today, I'm curious what will happen. We've got only half a second of fall off right now, 11 laps in. That's going to slowly start to fade down. But if it's 29 to 31 today, like it was yesterday, these drivers are not going to make it on one pit stop. It could be close 
on the strategy game today, much like we saw Homestead last year. Kev Shearer in fourth, Fitzy in fifth. Quinton Moore up the six. Ellison, we expected a slow fade. Uh, still in the top ten, though, in seventh. Much better than what happened back at Texas to him when he started in the top five. Uh, obviously, the outside line here, a lot more usable than it is at Texas. But he's currently seventh. Dylan Young, eighth. Then battle for ninth between Austin and Rain as Jesse Turner falls out of the top ten. I'm very surprised about Rain, but I guess similar to Donovan Cade and Sanford, just doesn't have that pace due to the bog down start. There's Audra. I think this could be a big breakaway race for Zach. If she can get a top 15 or 10, I think that rookie of the year will get wide open. And she is really using that outside line. Just look at her go, man. Just got by Cole Deaver, and a, she got by a couple of people this lap. Yeah, up to 14, three spots in one lap. Looking for more. This one car looks pretty dialed in right now. I'll have to see what they do with the strategy game. Try and get her another top 10 on the season. I guess you could say that's uh, similar to Chris White yesterday before he had his issues and Audra herself with that truck here, Just a little roll reversal. Our good friends up there, Quinn and Fitzy. Ellison now starting to pull away in seventh from Dylan Young. Young was about to challenge him, but Turner has fought back. Fought his way back into the top ten. Now in ninth, looking for eighth on Dylan Young. See that top side really coming in with the tie we're here in the cup car. <clears throat> See Andrew Rich still just inside the top 20 in 17th. Charles Sanford has still gone nowhere in 36th. Quinton Morris, hot teammate Fitzwater for fifth. Thank you, man. Definitely starting to get a little resurgence here. He's looking better than Kev Shear in front of him for sure. See the lap time this time by as we hit over a second of fall off of 29 4. They're practically even. Seth Cole looking for the lead on Tringali. Fitz, uh, Sorlin, rather, I mean, is just really knocking down these lap times. We see Seth Cole just can't get by the seven. Yeah, I think Jonathan's rolling similar to last week, has a trimmed out setup. We saw, even though it was a different type package race, he seems to be good on these aero dependent tracks as Sorlin, I mean, Seth Cole looks to get on Tringali. I think we'll come up short. And that package was so good that we are going to see it at Talladega at the end of September. So that'll really spice up that race. Is Death clear here? Still side by side. It's going to help Kev Shear and definitely Quinn and Moore who's gained. Seth Cole just about cleared. He's really been working hard to get by Tringali here so he can challenge Sorlin for the race lead. In the turn one, let's see if he can pull a slide job on Tringali. And he's just almost, he is almost clear. Drive. Nope. Oh, maybe. And there it is. Slides up in front, takes second place away from the seven. Meanwhile, behind him, battle on for fourth. Quinton Moore to the inside of Kev Shearer. Quinton Moore's going to dive into the inside there. Just looking at the lines here. Man, a lot of consistent pace from our top three, though. I seem like to be the breakaway leaders here today. Is Q Moore on the apron. I think the strategy between the top three, I think that's going to determine our winner here today, Vince. Because they just seem so even right now. Quentin is almost clear of Kev. You see, you can kind of start to make that bottom work now if you've saved your tires a little bit. Kev's going to try the crossover, but 
I think Quinton has the pace here to hold him off as Austin taking seventh away from Ellison. And there you see into turn one, Q Moore just holds it on. Alex and the row, top of the chart with the lap time is up to ninth. As Audra has poked her nose into the top 10 over Dylan Young. As Turner goes to his inside for position. Put Audra up to 10th, man. That one car is dialed up. You know, you got to think double duty. Running that second, or that first race, now this second race. A little momentum on the side. That does a long way into winning. And not just winning, but running top 10 with the best in the field. That's, that's impressive for next season, too, if we have one. Yeah, still up in the air on next year. Not sure what's going to go on, but uh, right now it rain. seems like as rain goes all the way to the top, really trying to rim ride it here. Look at the run she's going to get on Nate Rogers. But um, as far as next year goes, just to finish off on the topic before we get distracted by another on-track battle, um, if we do have next year, it will not start until April. Uh, this year we backed up the start date two weeks from mid-February to March. And uh, if we have a 2023 season, it will start first week or second weekend of April because of where Easter lands. Jessica Shelton been struggling all race. She is 23rd. Sanford's starting to move forward, Vince. He's up to 29th now. But he's really going to have to play the strategy game here. Um, draft seems to be somewhat important today. Maybe not too, too important. I think the overcut might be the way to go for Charles here. As we're going to have to start focusing on this pit window. As he's talking rookie of the year, Battle Vince Freeze is struggling today. Battle for oh, the lead. Seth, oh. Seth Cole to the inside of Sorland there at two seconds of fall off here on lap 27. Just like Jerky Pro was yesterday. Q-Man, he's closed the gap in fourth. It might be a four-horse race. But I'm really curious. I'm really curious, Vince. I think if you can pit on lap 32 coming to 33, you could stretch it to the end of the race. But if you pit 31 or earlier, I think it's going to be a two-stopper for you. I think so. I think really it's just about that clean pit road entry. I remember Daniel Brown really did a good job. Masaryk, yesterday truck race, really good. As, oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Going, it's going to be a two stopper today. Sorlin and Seth Cole, first ones down. As Rose making a move on Fitzy. Kev Shear in. Austin, Ellison. Looks like Ellison's got damage on the left side of his car. I'm not sure if that's trying to, from trying to pit or what. But they will likely be fixing that, so that's going to take a minute. Not many drivers pit here, though, on lap 28. Only a handful from the top 15. Here's the second group. I think we're going to have what's called a, a big gap as Roe. We'll have a third group for sure. We'll stay out. Roe, Sack, Flickinger. There's Charles Sanford pulling the Donovan Cage strat out. And I think it was Funny. a good thing he did. Look at them bunch up coming in. I think Charles played the strategy perfectly. But everyone's going to have to pit a second time. So that's going to make the two-tire gamble. I think, I think everyone's going to take two at the end. I think everyone's pitting early enough here to where taking right sides only will be beneficial at the end of the race. But it's Rowe, Sack Flickinger, Stephen Cologne, Charles Sanford, Ace Rogers, and Christian Russell, oh. Peter Onjak, Logan York on group three. As Sorlin and Seth Cole are nose to tail off group one. And you can just see how much time Ellison lost fixing his door damage. And that's a tough break for Ellison, but I think there must have been some contact somewhere. Trying, maybe, I'm, I'm guessing it was him trying to get on pit road. That caused the damage. And they spent the time to fix it. Yeah, he is going to be hurting here. I think we're going to have a, a range of 56 to 60 is my calculation. So that will be a two-tire call for sure. Yeah, Ellison is going to be outside the top 30 now after fixing that door damage. 
and he'll be on the oldest tires. Tringali comes out in front of Seth Cole. And Oskin. Well, Oskin was in the first group. He pit third out of that group. Q-Man right behind him. That's the top five. Turner undercut benefits him big time. He's in sixth. Battle for seventh between Fitzwater and Audra Baranowskis. Man, she is having the day. Quite the day. I mean, she got that top five back in the second Pukekohe race where she finished second but this seems to be the race of her cup career so far after starting mid-pack Kev Shear is ninth Andrew Rich will take 10th from Rowe as his tires start to heat up but Rowe man with the overcut he's got the speed be very interesting to see how this strategy unfolds Dylan Young, 12th, Rain 13th, Keith Rich, 14th, Nate Rogers, 15th, Stephen Cologne in 16th, and there it is. Zach Fuckinger, 17th, Charles Sanford up to 18th place on the overcut strap. That's a good, it's a good, solid damage control, but he needs a little help from Seth Cole, ironically, and Tringali to mix it up with Zorlin, because a win here, we know how much winning does in this series. Yeah, and we, we talked about it uh, before the race, Fence. Um, that points gap in Jerky Pro, that jump 30 points in Audra's favor. Even though Donovan rebounded to a top 15, that win for Audra just jumped her in the point standings. Rock all over the place here, top to bottom to bottom to middle at top. Looking for that position, you know, back off. Amanda Evans just inside the top 20, battling Ace Rogers. Then it's a two-second gap to Jessica Shelton in 22nd. See Peter Onjak, who started at the back. He's made his way forward up to 24th. How about Levi McIntyre in his first race in several weeks? He's been on that, that tough scene do not qualify streak. He's finally broken it. Currently not having a great race, though. Just outside the top 25 here as Christian Russell will take 25th from him. Russell and York, the last two out of the group with the overcut. So Christian Vargas, Logan Williams, RJ Bishop, who was top 15 earlier. Ferranti not having a great race. Cole Deaver is back here in 33rd. And there's Ellison, mentioned it, fixed that door damage, and he fell way down the running order. All the way down to 36th. Yepes is back here, kind of surprising. And then Kukulon and the 12 of Vince Freeze. Fastest lap on the race now belongs to Samet Oskin at 28.089. As Roe has jumped into the top 10, Andrew Rich is up to 8th. Yeah, the draft has played a bigger role today than we thought, for sure. And it seems like it's keeping these guys closer together. I'll tell you what, Vince. I'll tell you what. We know it's going to be a two-tire call, but I'm looking at this. I'm looking at Nico Tringali right now. So he pit the lap after Sorlin and Seth Cole. He has closed the gap on Sorlin here. If he can pass Sorlin, like, by lap 45... For the lead and hold that lead to the to the second round of stops where they take two i think you say advantage tringali because then even if tringali decides to pit on the same lap as sorlin he's leading him into the pits he's not following him into the pits i think a good point because we really don't know what sorlin has got dirty air like pure dirty air we have no idea so that could be a big it could be a, a, a case if whoever's out front's got the cleanest air cleanest downforce and trimmed out the most Versus the pack, but Oskin, man, even with that undercut, he seems to have something here. Yeah, Oskin is looking to take third from Seth Cole. Maybe a bad adjustment on the 07s part, or maybe just trying to save his stuff here early in the run. But it's top five breakaway Q Man. He he turned the uh, heaters on at the end of that first run, and it has benefited him here. He can see the leader, but not sure how much of a shot he's got at a win here. I think maybe just looking at a solid top five day. Fitzwater in six, now under fire from Andrew Rich in seventh. 
Turner, man, he he fell. He was in the top 10. He fell out of the top 10. He bounced back into the top 10. And then the undercut strategy has him in eighth. Uh, he will likely fall out of the top 10 here shortly, though. Roe is up to ninth now. Audra down to 10th. Audra, I believe, was in group two. So I don't believe she is under fire from any of these three. You see how far Kev Shearer has fallen from his undercut down to 13th now. Yeah, the undercut's a risky business, man, too. It's not the perfect strategy, and at the same time, the overcut's not the best strategy either. Even though it worked for Sanford, it's starting to fall off. Well, I thought he'd make a little bit more progress than 19. Maybe he just doesn't have the car today. And Zach Fleckinger is on that same strategy, and he is in 16th, leading this group. Steven Colon down to 18th place. And remember, Vince, it is still very tough to pass when you're racing against guys who only pit one lap earlier than you. Especially in the cup car with all the power these babies have. But Charles looks like he is about locked on a top 20 here as Amanda Evans has started to fade away from this group. As Austin has taken third place away from Seth Cole. Rowe looking for eighth on Turner. I think he's going to take it here with ease. Good run for Audra still, man. Even though it's starting to fade a little bit this second run. Top 10. Like I said, big momentum on the side. Rich looking to take sixth here from Fitzwater. It's, the, uh, it's funny, man. He, he, speaking of momentum, how about that win last week at Armory? I mean, he, he hates those places, and it seems like he's carried it over this week. Yeah, maybe that bad luck streak is finally over after that win. But we got a standalone race next week at Memphis. We saw how the Jerky Pro race went last month, so we're going to be curious to see how the cup race goes. And then uh, Bristol Dirt, Labor Day weekend, followed by Oswego, Papyrus, Talladega. That is a decent foray stretch where things can certainly flip as far as the championship picture is concerned. Oskin driving away. I'm surprised Seth Cole, despite pitting a lap later, is falling back compared to Jonathan Zorlin. And uh, Tringali has kind of stabilized behind his teammate here. You said yourself, man, wrong adjustment on Seth Cole. I think they freed it up too much, especially with the grip now getting laid down. This, this is the second race of the weekend. With there being two stops, we might see lap traffic play a factor into this one. But I'm really surprised Tringali drove right up, but once he got within three tenths, Vince, he has been kind of stuck in this bubble of air. Maybe just waiting for the fall off to kick in. You can see he is still inching forward about half a tenth a lap. This is going to be a case of who gets to clean a Tringali's try. I like what he's doing, going a little bit higher than Zorlin. A little fresh air, a little bit more downforce, but he loses it in the wake in three and four. As he follows him, follows him right in, turn three. Oskin had closed a bit, but he is now starting to fade. He is on the same tires as Sorlin. As uh, Seth Cole and Q-Man, they might fall back to that second group. As Allison Rain has popped into the top 10, Audra down to 11th. And that is an interesting margin to have there. 6.66 back from the leader for Audra. But 17 laps to go. We are seven laps away from that second pit cycle. And Tringali is starting to fade once again. Yeah, you talked about that, man. Maybe by lap 45, Tringali getting the leads. He's doing a great job, I think, in one and two, but three and four, he's not getting the not proper A. He's just not getting the middle of the corner, searching around where you need to search around three and four. 
And then you see he closes it right back up. It's just that dirty air effect. I think once you get to two tenths of a second. Fall off is at 1.6. See Tringali with a bit of a faster lap on the race. Andrew Rich has really flown up towards the front this run. Might have a shot at a top five today. Seeing how, uh, maybe how the strategy goes here. Same with Alexander Rowe, who's now up to seventh. Turner, man, he has held on with this undercut. Still in ninth. Allison Ray now by herself. Tenth. Dylan Young, 11th. Audra, 12th. Kev Shearer, 13th. As you have, Vince, I think you're right. This, this 03 car just... Does not have the, the setup in today. Still 19th behind Stephen Cologne. The sack flickings are starting to challenge now for a top 15. Oh, contact there with him and Nate Rogers. Rogers pitting? Yeah, he's trying to pit. I think that's what happened to Ellison. Dylan Young's in. Allison Rain's in. Andrew Rich came in. Austin came in. But Sorlin and Tringali didn't. So Austin pulled the trigger first. So now some of the guys who were on the overcut, they pulled the undercut, and some of them are taking four. Well, the pit window's early. Sorlin's still on the yeah. track. Something happened to Tringali. He lost a lot of time. Oh, and all those drivers pitting are taking four, Vince. Oh, I don't know. I think two would have been the right call if he would have made the lap 58. No, we might be seeing a split strategy here. Sorlin still on track. Tringali on track. Seth Cole on track. Ooh, ooh, this is getting juicy. Could this be a decision to say, hey, if we pit here, we take four, we'll gain the four seconds we would have saved by taking two? And then we have fresher left sides than the guys who take two tires, if they take two here. You got to be within about five seconds to do that. Anything and they're still staying out. So now, now it's six seconds. It's six seconds now. This is going to get good, man. I, I don't know why Seth Cole didn't pit. I think he's making a mistake. He knows he needs adjustments. Now, Zorland's getting that draft. So now out of those drivers that pit, Vince... It was uh, Andrew Rich and Austin, I think, who could benefit the most here on the points. Mostly Rich, when you look at the championship battle. They're still staying out, man. No one's pit yet. This is very curious. Kev's got to bring it in. It's two-tire call at this point now. You have to do two tires. Anyone got to come in tires. behind Kev? Doesn't look like it. Oh, look at this. And these guys are stacking up on the fresh tires here. Rain pit, Dylan Young pit. Ellison's going to come in. Sorlin's time There's to Sorlin. pit is now. Tringali stays Tringali. out. Now let's watch this call here. This could be a race winning call, or he might have just choked it. We'll find out. Seth Cole pits. Fitzy's in. Turner's in. Let's see. I want to see what Kev's team did. When they come out here, did they take four? They did. Kev Shear's team took four. Oh, and they're going to come out Not right as Sorlin's going yeah. in. I don't understand this call of taking four. I don't I don't understand. If Sorlin's team takes four, it's I don't understand it either. Ellison just took two, I think. No? Yeah, he did. Sorlin takes, takes two. two. That's the smart move. They're taking two, so Kev was maybe on the last team of taking four. Oh, that's, that stinks. Tringali's pit, right? He, oh, look at this. Look at Oskin and Rich there. They're going to take the lead. There goes the 22 and the 23 to the point. So now you got to wonder, is five lap fresher right side tires with 30 lap old left side tires better than four new tires. You would think so. The four fresh tires would probably prevail. It's just, can they get around traffic now? That's the problem. Where's Rich? There's Tringali. Yeah, he thought he was looking for the lead there, but he backed off. Tringali's going to oh. come out right behind Zorlin. But these guys, they are stuck behind some of these cars oh, that have yet to pit. Here? 
Ellison's, Ellison's got fresh tires, but man, Fogelman, Ribbleton, and Adam Flickinger, they are really holding these guys up. Zach Flickinger just brought it in, so this is for the lead. Between Austin and Rich. I think Fogelman's pitting here. I could be mistaken, though. No, Fogelman's on fresh tires. Never mind. These guys have already pit. Yeah. So with six to go, yeah, this is the battle for the lead between Austin and Rich. And I think Rich has more to gain here if he gets the win. What a crazy race with the strategy game. To oh, Rich, here comes Rich. They pit, man. They pit like five laps before the window. Took four, and it has benefited them. Oh, Sorlin's going to go to the top line here. See if he can get that big run. Fogelman's still playing a bit of a role here. With the inexperience factor. Does Rich dive under him here in the turn one? No, he can't. They've got some other lap cars up ahead, too. Fogelman's oh. going to slide up in front of Hoskin. Hoskin's got to tow Fogelman, and then hope Fogelman drops to the inside. That's perfect. But he might have lost too much. Oh, Sailor. Uh oh, this is going to get really good right here. Some of these cars are on only two tires, Vince, and they're a second slower than these guys on four. Oskin must be pissed right now. Oh, man, this is this is who gets by the traffic because now Rich is held up a little bit. Oh, Sailor's going to slide up right in front. Oh, Oskin yes, splits it. Woo! Looking I at the top ten. Sure. Looking at the oh, top ten real quick. Look, Oskin's going to dive it under him. Forget looking at the top ten. Christian Russell. Oh, He's going to hold up Andrew Rich. Fellow Dodge might get in the way here. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. Three to go. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. That's, I think that's going to seal it. He is sandwiched in there. Sorlin, third. Tringali, fourth. Seth Cole, fifth. Rowe, Quentin Moore, Rain, D. Young, Fitzwater. That is the top ten after the insane strategy play. Kev Sheeran, remember, he's on four fresh tires. He might get a top ten yet. But with two laps to go, it looks like this is Oskin's race to lose. Rich will get clear of the lappers, but it's going to be too little too late. Oskin has smooth sailing in front. All I can think of, man, was John Desrola just saying, hey, we got a big points lead. Let's play it safe. That's all I can think of. Well, he's only going to lose. I believe it'll be three points to Rich here. As we're on the white flag lap, Rich loses the win to a fellow Dodge. Just getting in his way. And man, the leaderboard is still really shuffling up. But through three and four, for the first time in his cup career, Vince, Oskin's going to have a multi-win season. Second win of the season here at Kansas for Oskin. And it's his fifth win of his cup career. Really cool to see those money line cars cross the line next to each other. That was actually kind of cool. Andrew will come home second. I think what could have been as far as gaining points over Sorlin. Sorlin comes home third, though. He's not going to lose a lot. Tringali fourth. Rowe edges out. Rain for fifth. Seth Cole seventh. Dylan Young eighth. Quentin Moore ninth. And Nate Rogers the top ten. Man, this front end order really shuffled. Look at this. Levi McIntyre, 13th. Sanford still came home 19th, despite all that craziness. Laura Chung jumped up to 24th. And Amanda Evans fell to 42nd. Wow. Wow, what a shuffly race there at the end. That strategy was pretty insane. Yeah, it was about playing conservative, I think, for some, and aggressive for others. Charles Sanford lost. He just didn't have the car today. Seth Cole, I think he could have been more aggressive on it with his strategy, too. Well, that'll do it for us today. We'll see you guys next week at Memphis. Sign off.